Please, my name is Elise Stannard. It is 10 o'clock, 7th of September, Sunday, 1666. Earlier this morning, a big fire broke out in a bakery in Pudding Lane. The baker, Thomas Farriner, was baking some bread in his shop, but he forgot about it and it caught fire. Setting fire to the bakery, the fire bounced up and spread through the streets. We will be keeping you updated about this dangerous situation. Goodbye. Welcome to Ashley TV News. My name is Elise Stannard. It is midday, Monday, 3rd September, 1666. The fire from yesterday is still spreading. Here's our reporter, Samuel Peeps. Sam, what else can you tell us? Well, Elise, my maid Jane woke me in the middle of the night. She told me there's a great big fire going on outside, so I went to take a look. The sky was filled with yellows, reds and oranges. It was just like fireworks. Why do you think the fire is spreading so quickly? Well, Elise, there are three reasons. Firstly, the houses are built of wood, so they catch fire easily. Secondly, they're built very close together, so the flames can leap from house to house. And thirdly, the wind, it's fanning the flames, so it's keeping the flames alive. Thank you, Sam. Now, let's go over to the weather to see what the wind is likely to do. Thank you, Elise. If you look at the map, you can see that the wind is going in all sorts of different directions. Outside now it is very, very strong. I'm afraid it's going to be like that for at least another day. We will be back with more news tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Ashley TV News. My name is Elise Stannard. It is 11 o'clock Tuesday, 4th of September 1666. I am back with some more fire news. The fire is getting bigger and bigger every day. Here's Sam again. Sam, are people doing anything to stop the fire? Not yet, but they're thinking about pulling down some of the houses to stop the fire spreading. I don't think they're going to do anything else. Goodbye, Sam. Now let's go over to the weather report from Caroline. Thank you, Elise. The wind is still very strong, but I've heard that it will calm down soon. After the fire has stopped, there may be a little rain, but that's after it stops. That is all I've got for you today. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hello and welcome to Ashley TV News. My name is Elise Stennard. It is 10 o'clock Wednesday, the 5th of September, 1666. The fire is calming down because the wind is calming down. I think tomorrow it might stop. People right now are escaping on boats across the River Thames, but the fire is chasing them. You know yesterday, Sam told you that they're thinking about pulling down some houses. Well, right now they are pulling down some houses, but they're being very, very quick. But now there's loads and loads of wood on the floor, so the fire is catching the wood. So it's getting bigger and bigger, but it is gradually calming down again. That is all I've got for you today, so I'll be seeing you tomorrow with some more news. Goodbye! Welcome to Ashley TV News. My name is Elise Bannon. It is 11 o'clock, Thursday, 6 September 1666. This morning, the fire stopped. Luckily, only six people died in the fire. Here's Lucinda, who's one of the people who escaped from the fire. Hello, Lucinda. Hello, darling. Did your house get pulled down? No, my house didn't get pulled down. They only did one street and it wasn't mine. Did your house get burnt and how did you escape? Yes, my house did get burnt. I escaped in a boat along with lots of other people. Everyone escaped in boats, but all different ones. 
Thank you, Lucinda. Tomorrow I'll be speaking to the government to see how they're going to rebuild London again. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Ashley TV News. My name is Elise Dunham. It is Friday, 7 September 1666. You know yesterday I said I'd be speaking to, to a government minister to see how they're going to rebuild London again. Well, here he is. Good morning, Elise. I think we'll rebuild London with bricks, so if there is a fire, it won't catch fire so easily. Thank you. That is all I've got for Ashley TV News today. Goodbye. Goodbye.